Hello creators, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell personalized ornaments by using My Designs. So let's jump right in. So the first thing that I like to do before I ever start creating or selling any products is to do some research and see what's actually selling. So I'm on etsyhunt.com right now and you can see at the, at the top I've searched Christmas ornaments and then I put on a filter here that said customizable which means it's only going to show me personalized products. So let's just scroll through these and see if we can find something that we can get an idea from. Um, this one right here immediately jumps out to me. It looks like it's got um, over 1700 total sales and in the last seven days 54 now that number jumps out to me because we are, we're still four or five months away from Christmas right now and they're already getting 54 sales in a seven day period so let's go ahead and just click this one um, we'll see if this is something that we can easily create something similar to um, so it looks like it's just Amelia's first Christmas so it's a first Christmas ornament um, and then it just has this picture of a bunny and it looks like there's two versions one for a boy and one for a girl so let's jump over to my designs and we'll see if we can design something similar to this I'm now on the my designs website and I have created a collection if you don't know how to create a collection you need to do that in order to actually upload or start creating designs you can do that by going to the listings page and then selecting up next to listings this button and then you can click add folder and right here you can name it whatever you'd like as you can see I am in personalized ornament video so the first thing I need to do is actually get a proper canvas um, with the correct dimensions for creating ornaments so I'm gonna go ahead and go to our canvas here I'm gonna go to templates and then I'm gonna search here ornament and I'm going to select the round ceramic ornament and then I'm also going to select Swift POD as that's the only partner we have right now that offers ornaments. And then I'm going to select a front print. So you'll see this pops up. And so we need to essentially have our designs within this red line, um, preferably even the blue, but for sure within the red lines, anything outside of the red lines or in this little red line here is not going to be printed as that is where the string's going to go through. So I've also created a design ahead of time just to save some time on the video. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that here, what I've got. Um, all I did was just go to created fabrica. I found this little um, flower border um, with the deer on it. And then I have added these as text boxes from my designs, which if you don't know how to do, you can just click text here. You can click add text and then you'll have boxes just like this. Um, and you can do whatever you'd like to with them. Um, obviously, I think that's a fantastic looking ornament. I think that this would actually really sell. Um, and it's similar to the one that we did some research on. Obviously, we have our own design. We never want to just copy somebody. Um, but the idea of a baby's first Christmas, I think, is a fantastic idea. That's something that parents would love to buy. Um, I say that as a parent myself. Um, this is something that I would probably buy myself for my child or more like my wife probably would. But I think it's a great design. Um, essentially, when we receive an order, all we have to do is come in and change this name. So let's say they wanted the name to say um, something like Adeline. So then we could just update it there, save this file, submit it to our print partner, and that's how easy it is to fulfill a personalized order. Um, but I'm going to change the name to that, and then I'm just going to go ahead and save this to our collection. I'm going to name it test ornament. It's going, it's going to be a new listing. We want this file to save in the main file slot. Uh, we do want it as a PNG and this is extremely important. If you're selling a personalized product, you need to make sure that you click save as editable. Um, if you don't do that, you won't be able to update these text box. So that is extremely important. Um, once that's done, we can go ahead and just click create new listing. Now I'm going to jump over to the listings page and I'll show you what this looks like. As you can see, there it is. Um, that's our print file ready to go for that ornament. Um, this little pen icon means that it is personalizable. So if that is there, you did save it in the correct way. So now that we have our design, the next step is to fill out this data. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and select our design here. I'm then, or excuse me, I'm going to also then go to Vision AI. Um, Vision AI essentially just scans your image and fills out your data for you. Um, I like to say it gets you about 90% of the way there, but I always recommend that you double check everything um, and that you also um, 
add some of your own keywords, do a little bit of your own research. Uh, so this is all mapped out correctly how we want it, except for the product type, we want to search this and change it to ornament. And if we don't have an ornament, we do have it as an option, but if you're, if you're doing a product we don't have, you can select um, nothing here, and then you can just, in the custom instructions, tell it to the um, type of product that you're trying to sell. Um, we could include product features, which if we did, we would just select the same one. It would include the features of the ornament, so I'll go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like. Um, and then in the custom instructions, I do also want to say this is a personalized ornament. Please include this in the data. And then I'm going to go ahead and click generate listing data. This should only take just a moment and then I'll show you what that data looks like. Um, and then the next step after that is to actually go to, through the publishing process. So you can see here, personalized Christmas ornament, custom first Christmas ornament, baby's first Christmas 2024, deer and floral design. So I think that's fantastic. As you can see, it didn't use all the characters. So like I said, I would probably leave a bunch of that. I may remove this part here um, and try and put in some more keywords that are relevant to it. Um, and then here's the description. I'm not gonna read through the whole thing, but this is what the product features include if you um, select that in Vision AI. And then the tags look fantastic as well. So once you have all the data filled out, you have your design done. Some people like to create the mockups ahead of time, which you can do that if you'd like to by going to our mockups tab here, selecting image mockups and then creating those. I'm just going to go ahead and create my mockups during the publishing process. So in order to get to the publishing process, all we have to do is go to the top right corner here, click publish. We're gonna select Etsy. This should already all be mapped out correctly for you. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select pick a product. Now I'm gonna search ornament here. We're gonna select that round ceramic ornament, Swift POD as our print partner. And then right here, we're just doing a front print area. You can do the back as well if you'd like to, but you can see there's one mock-up of it. Um, you can generate more mock-ups down here by clicking add mock-up. Um, surprisingly, last year we did see quite a few sales come through for Halloween for ornaments. So um, that is another thing you can consider, not just for Christmas. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a couple more of these mock-ups as I do want to add a few more. I want there to be multiple options or multiple images rather. So we'll go ahead and select all of those and then we'll select the white color for them all, and then they should generate. So I'll show you what those look like here. I do like the idea of this being the primary mock-up, either this one or this one. The reason I like this one a little more uh, is it's more zoomed in. And you can actually, once you publish to Etsy, zoom in on these a bit more, uh, or you can even do it in my designs um, on the listings page, not during the publishing process. So I think that's fantastic right there. Um, I don't think that we need to add more than that. Those four mockups look fantastic. So we'll go ahead and go to the next price or the next page, which is where we choose our prices. So right here, you can see the cost that for you, and this doesn't include shipping, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and just say, maybe we sell an ornament for $15.99, and we can just click apply. You could, if you're just doing a single listing, change it here, but typically I'm working with multiple listings at a time, and this will apply it to everything at once. So this also down here shows us a preview of our file, um, and it looks fantastic. So once we have our pricing done, we'll go ahead and just click preview publish info. So now this gives us a final view of what this looks like before um, we actually publish it to our Etsy shop. And everything looks great. It shows us what our primary mockup is, our title here, descriptions here, and then our tags are highlighted in blue down here. Um, the only thing that we need to be sure that we do on this page, again, if we're selling something as a personalized product, we need to make sure that we click this personalization button here. Um, this from field is you only select that if you're working with multiple personalized files at once It'll allow you to change the message um, Versus just here is going to be the same message across the board So if you were working with multiple files You would make sure you did that or else the message your customers seeing would be the same across the board Since we're just doing one file for this video We don't need to select that from field and then I do actually have a um, message here that I'm going to write for my customers that I wrote down. So it just says, 
I'll show you what is the entirety of it. So it says, please include the first name exactly as it should appear. And then it says, IE, for example, Ella or just Ella. And this actually says Adeline. So we can go ahead and change that to represent this specific design. That was from the first one. And then once we change that, it says text, number two text for the second line, i.e. first Christmas. So they can change that if they'd like to as well. Maybe it's second Christmas for this one. Um, the year, which is 2024, so they can change that as well. That way, this um, this doesn't just work for one single year. It'll work for all of the future years coming up. Um, and then that's it. So it shows an example after that. Um, Ella's first Christmas 2024 and then you can set a response character limit for how much they can give you I think 256 is plenty enough. So I'm just gonna leave it set at that um, And everything looks good from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select publish Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to our Etsy shop and show you what that looks like there so I'm now on my Etsy shop and I'm in my draft folder. Everything you publish from my designs will always go to a draft folder as you're required to pay that 20 cent listing fee from Etsy uh, before you publish it live. So if we go ahead and click into this, you'll see that the or, or excuse me, the mockup that we selected as our primary is in the correct place. There's our additional mockups we've had. Uh, our title, all of our data is here, including our instructions for the buyer. So it turns out, or it looks like this listing turned out to be perfect. Uh, there were no issues whatsoever. And that is how easy it is to create and list personalized products on your Etsy shop by using my designs. So the way that we fulfill an order when we receive it for personalization is actually really, really simple. And I'd like to go over that with you now. So whenever you receive an order, you just need to go to the orders page here. And now you'll see all of your orders. And this one right here is one that I had a friend of mine place so that I could show you guys how to fulfill these. Um, so you just go ahead and click into the order. And then you'll see here, it says personalization request. So this message is what your Etsy customer gave you in that text box that I showed you um, for instructions on what they want. So it says Adeline's second Christmas 2024. So if you remember right, um, our, our print file that we created said Adeline first Christmas 2023, I believe it might've said 2024, but this is how you do it. All you have to do is click the order and then you click personalize. And then when you click personalize, it's going to bring up our canvas system with that same file that you already created. Um, and then the personalization request again is right here in the top right corner. Um, you can move it up and down if you don't want it showing, but this is exactly how they want this done. So we'll go ahead and update this right now. So we said they wanted to say Adeline's second. We'll do it all caps just like we had at Christmas. And then we're going to say 2024. So we did have it as first, but anyways, this is how easy it is to personalize files. So just like that, we're already ready to go. We just double check, make sure everything's spelled right. Um, a lot of people even copy and paste it. That way they know for sure they don't make an error. Um, but once we have this how we'd like it, all we have to do now is click overwrite. Or you can save it to a collection. Uh, you'll see that right here it says this order is being modified. It might take just a minute. Um, and there you go. Just like that, we can go ahead and open the actual print file and make sure that it looks good. So you can see Adeline's second Christmas 2024. And then we'll go ahead and jump back over to the orders page here. Um, and that's how simple it is. Now all we have to do is click approve order. And then we click yes, approve order. I'm not going to actually send it in. I'm going to cancel the order as I don't want to get charged for it since I'm just showing you how to do it. But that is how easy it is to um, fulfill a personalized order by using my designs. So I hope everything in this video made sense. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below.